Hello everyone, this is Nikita and thank you for joining me in this video. In this video, we would talk about the checkout check-in process in a rule form, uh, which many of you has, uh, have asked for. So this video is about that. Let's see how the checkout check-in process works in Pega. Okay, so whenever you see a rule form, you would see this checkout button here. But uh, do you know what it does or uh, what are the different possibilities you can have when you would see this checkout button and when you won't see this. Okay, so let's talk about it. So first of all, I have logged in in my application and I see this checkout button here. Okay, so what I will do is I will uh, log it with another user also for the same rule. Okay, so now this is uh, with the another user. It is the same rule form. So what I would do is with this user, I would try to take a lock on this item. So when I say lock on this item, basically no two user can update the same rule at the same time, right? So that is the reason when you do a checkout, what happens is you acquire the lock on that rule form. Okay. So when I do a checkout, basically now I'm the sole user who can update this rule. Okay. So now suppose another user another user had already opened this okay uh, and he sees this checkout button but will he be able to do a checkout let's try it out so when i click on checkout i get an error what does this error says the checkout failed original record already logged by another user on this time basically i cannot acquire lock on this item until and unless another user either checks in that rule or discards the rule okay so let's see uh, what, what will happen if I try to refresh this so now you can see the checkout button has gone because I cannot acquire the lock on this item but instead I can do a private edit what the private edit is doing when you do a private edit it says that uh, you can do the changes that you want to do but we cannot assure that when you try to check in it will result it will not result in any merge conflict because another user is trying to update already right and you might update something else so when you merge it there might be some conflicts on the rule so if you want to do that or not it's asking you do you still want to continue so the best practice is not to do that until and unless you are trying to test something out you can do the private edit and then discard it but if it is a real time scenario where you know two developers are working on the same application same kind uh, same development so it's best uh, to always avoid this kind of uh, conflicts and do not do the private edit when you, when you do the continue with private edit it will allow you to basically you know do whatever you want to do like i can do a page remove and then and do a save now i can try to check in but when i try to check in it will again cause a issue but it cannot check in because this rule has been checked out by some other user you cannot check in your private checkout until the test user either checks in their changes or deletes the checks out okay this is for just to avoid any conflicts that can happen. Whoever acquires a lock for the first time is someone who can update it and then uh, check it. Okay. Until and unless he, um, you know, discards his changes or do a check-in, you cannot do a checkout or a check-in. Okay. So this will not be possible. Now let's go to the another user. Okay. And suppose I do a discard. So now this user doesn't have the lock on this rule. Okay. Now I go to my user again, hmm, who had tried to basically acquire lock previously. I'll discard this because this was my private edit. So now you can see, I do see the checkout button because now nobody has the lock on this item. Let's try to take a lock. Yes, I'm able to take a lock on this item because nobody has done it. Now I can even check in. Check in also will not result in any issue. Just put in for now. Okay, so I'm now able to check in. So this was how the checkout and check in process works. 
okay so this is a lock sign where you go you will be able to know that this particular rule set has checkout enabled or not okay so this was a short video on checkout check-in process uh, i know this is a very basic video but lot of you has the questions on this so i thought of creating a small video for the beginners hope it was useful to you see you again in my next video till then bye bye take care